Capricorns. Capricorns. <laughs> Ah, Capricorns, let's see what's coming up for your third quarter. Oh, ooh. Capricorns. Love is in the air. Every time I look around. Okay, Capricorns, someone wants to shut it down. <laughs> Capricorns. Better you than me. So, Capricorns, I don't know. But it's up to you, darling. But I basically think for me as a Capricorn, the man I should marry to or the man I should be with is just not yet born. So, enjoy that's beautiful in october in november <laughs> capricorns i told you capricorns you're thinking what the fuck i get myself in capricorns in november you're like jesus christ why did i say yes why did i take this ring why did i say yes to move in with this person why did i say yes to capricorn i told you I told you, I give it up, Capricorns. I'm good. Okay, yep, yep, because you're going to be taking off the mask in December and recognize this man is just an asshole. <laughs> Capricorns, I'm sorry. I've shuffled the cards from this morning. I've put them down. I've laid them down with a crystal. Capricorns, do not take that ring in October. Do not say yes to that marriage. Do not. You are going to regret it in November and in December you're going to be recognized in Jesus Christ as a fucking monster. This person took off their mask and you recognize Jesus Christ. What have I done? All right. So Capricorn, this is the third quarter of the year. And last quarter of the year. No, Capricorns, this person wear a mask. It's a monster. So this nice ring that you're going to be offered in the month of October, do not. November, you're going to be having regret. And December, you're recognizing that this person was wearing a mask. Ooh, child, I know what that is like. What the? Capricorns, it's a no. All right, go buy a ring for yourself. <laughs> I'm going to teach you what I do. Um... When I was four to five, I decided I never want to get married. I never want to get in no relationship. And uh, I really make that decision for myself. And I always go home to America with my family. And my, my cousin and I, we're going, to, we're going to shop. I buy my own fucking ring. And she said, you want another ring? I said, yeah, honey, I don't need anyone to buy my ring. I just buy my ring myself. So let's go into reading. In the month of uh, October, yep, the energy of the Empress. Now, this is positive. This is about money. This is about creativity. Okay, if you have something going, yeah, the energy of the Empress, love. That is why someone is coming in with a ring. Capricorn, do not take that ring. It's good. Okay. The emperor. <laughs> I told you Capricorns. Capricorn, someone is coming up with giving you a ring in the month of October. Divine masculine. Could be divine masculine. So divine feminine and divine masculine. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. This person. Yeah. Venus is in Aquarius. Venus is in Aquarius. Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine is coming up in this last quarter, Capricorn. Venus in Aquarius. I always tell you guys, because a lot of people, oh, the Father's sword. Oh, you're not going to win the battle. Oh, you're going to be winning the battle. And I think people shut the fuck up and go read and understand um, the messages of these cards, okay? Five of Swords is Venus in Aquarius. 
ladies and gentlemen okay so what is it with divine masculine and feminine yeah they're going to be offering you some ring up they're they're, they're yeah here it is uh, capricorn so divine masculine or divine feminine is coming in offering you to get engaged to get married don't do it because november is not looking well so let's see what is happening with divine feminine oh yeah mr love and love <laughs> I'm a stellar my lover. Really? I'm a step bombastic. That was fantastic. Yeah. Um, Divine Pro. <laughs> this is a Mr. Lover Lover. Let him stay where he is. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Capricorns. Nope. It's a no for Mr. Lover Lover. No. Divine. <laughs> divine Masculine is there now worried. Because Divine Masculine recognized that, hey, you find out the story, okay? Because some of you were de dealing with a divine masculine. He's not only a lover, but the man is a fucking liar, okay? And nothing I hate like a liar. I despise a liar. I seriously, seriously despise a liar. And the thing about it is that divine masculine and feminine, especially when you're working on a positive energy, you can't take dishonesty. And whoever this person is, that is coming in your life is very dishonest. Divine Masculine now recognize they couldn't play you, okay? So Divine Fro, you're recognizing because here is Divine Masculine is now recognizing, fuck, she is on to me. She is on to me or whoever this person is because somebody tried to play someone and this person recognized, fuck, shit, this person is, is aware that I'm trying to play them, okay? So... Venus in Aquarius is, uh, um, it could be an Aquarius man, um, coming in a very hot in the month of October. Um, it doesn't have to be, it can be, um, but whoever this person is that is coming in very much hot, uh, wants to get married to you, wants to get engaged to you, wants to lock it down. Honey child, it's a fucking player. Do not, do not even consider it. Let this man go to hell. Okay, don't consider it Divine Empress. Uh, no, it's a player. It's a waste of time. I'm sure you're aware of it. So don't even open up a, um, a consideration to this person. Now, Divine Masculine, I see you're sitting down here being very worried because Divine Masculine, you are recognizing that Divine Feminine or whoever you're trying to get locked down is aware that uh, you are um, a player. Okay, because you men are very much worried. You're very much worried because someone is seeing through you and is recognizing that you're playing your own games and you're dancing to your own music. And this person is just not fucking impressed. So Capricorn, so whether divine masculine or divine feminine, you are recognizing that, hey, someone is trying to play a game with me. I don't need a fucking ring. I don't need a, to have a relationship. And you guys are going to be shutting it down. Listen, because this person wants to come in and lock it down with you. This person wants marriage. They want commitment. And you're like, no fucking way. Bye. Nope. Don't want it. Okay. In the month of uh, November, the Eight of Cups. Yeah. See, you're, you're having regrets. Saturn is in Pisces. Saturn is in Pisces in the month of December, in the month of November. Saturn is in Pisces. Now, when Saturn is in Pisces, um, for some of you, you could have started a relationship with a Pisces and it's going to be recognizing that this person is a player. Okay. Actually, it is your divine masculine because Capricorns, you, your divine masculine is a Virgo, uh, a Pisces or a scorpion, a Virgo, a Pisces, or a scorpion, okay? All right, so we have the energy of the world, Saturn. Saturn is ending a situation. If you were in a connection with a divine masculine and it's an Aquarius, you're ending it, okay? This karma, this person was a karma divine person. They're full of karmas. They have a lot of karmas. They have a lot of um love d uh yeah love demon 
sex demons on them. And that's why they're players, because players are have sex demons, okay? You have to understand something. When you, as a person, sleep around with a lot of people, you pick up negative energies. You pick up sex demons from them. You're ending. If you are in a relationship with a false divine masculine, you're going to be ending it, okay? Because they can come in as... These divine masculine, when they're on their negative, uh, so it could be a divine masculine who is an Aquarian, a divine masculine who is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, a divine masculine who is an earth sign, a divine masculine. But this person, this divine masculine, um, you're ending a cycle with this person because you recognize that this person is a player or this person is a liar and you, you're you ending it in November, Okay. Yes, the Ace of Swords. Yes, you are saying to this person, no. Okay, this person wanted some sort of a commitment from you. And in November, you're saying, no, I can't deal with this. No, this person is driving me mentally crazy. I need to have a good mental um, energy. Okay, so in the month of November, you're going to be telling this divine masculine or this divine feminine, I'm sorry, I can't do this with you. This is not the time. Um, whatever we have had, I'm ending it, I'm cutting all cords, but I no longer want to be in a commitment or a relationship with you. You're definitely going to be telling someone in the month of November. So listen to me, Capricorn, as someone has told me, you can't, I needed to teach you not to say no to anyone. Fuck you. No is no. Okay? No is no. And if you go over no, you are creating um, a criminal offense. If someone said they don't like something, if someone says no, and you try to overcome that, you're creating a criminal offense against another person. So learn fucking no. Okay? All right, so let's move on because you have some people that can't take no. Um, uh, expect uh, financial abundance in the month of November. Um, you are going to be financially abundant. If you were waiting on money, um, if money was supposed to be paid out, it's going to be paid out in the month of November. So in the month of November, they're also going to be ending a cycle for an Aries Leo or a Sagittarian person, whoever this man is, so this man had created a lot of illusions surrounding you, your information, your data, your business. This is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarian man. This is a businessman. You're um the you know it's like governments are going to be coming in and shutting down whatever this man has done. This man could have created using your information data to create a business and was making a lot of money. The government is going to be coming down and recognizing what this Leo, uh, Aries Leo, Sagittarian man, what he has done and what he has created. This man is very worried. In October, he recognized that he's been caught. I told you. I told you this energy of in this you are going to be investigating also someone. Capricorns, you're going to be investigating someone. Capricorns, you're going to be showing up someone that they're a liar, okay? So, if you, Capricorns, was in a relationship, because Venus is in Aquarius, so a lot of you Capricorns are dealing with an Aquarian person, and you're going to be showing this Aquarian person that they have been lying. Okay, you're going to be showing up this Aquarian person that they have been lying. Okay, so I don't know who is this Aquarian person, but it's like this Aquarian person wants to come in and offer you some sort of a commitment. But this person is wearing a fucking mask. Okay, this person is not an honest person. This person plays manipulating games. Okay, and this person is really recognizing you're onto them. Okay, and whoever this Aquarian man is. Uh, Capricorns, you're going to be recognizing that this Aquarian man had a, an affair, a secret affair he was having with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarian person. And what is going to piss you off is that that, per, that man brought that woman in your house. And I think that somehow 
end of September, you're recognizing, no, 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 no. If you do not <clears throat> have feelings and it's not your type, why is it this woman is following you everywhere you go? This fucking woman is there. You're recognizing, no, 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 because um, Aquarian men and men who lies and players, they always have this one person because that is the only person that will access their bullshit. You know, and he was having a relationship with this person. He was fucking this woman. And what you're so pissed off because you recognize that even in the um, situation ship, this woman was always coming to your house. And you're thinking, what the fuck? Don't you have anything else to do? If you're going to the gym, she's coming to your house. If you're going wherever she is coming, she's always there. And you're recognizing there is something and at some stage of the game you ask the person why are you not then in a relationship with this man because obviously you're still in love with this person and that is one of the reasons why what whoever was having a situation ship with an aquarian you walked away because you're thinking what the fuck am i in a relationship with you and all of your little jing bang that is hanging on to you and you were like walk away so someone in this year 2024 just walk away from a situation because of uh, you found data and information that shows that something was not completely right between two persons okay because of telephone conversation that you pick up and you're recognizing that you're in your bed and this woman is calling obviously he, this man and this woman have a relationship because there's no way that you know that this man is in a relationship you're going to be calling this man at 11 o'clock in the night obviously you both are fucking the same reason when this man had left you in another place in another city he calls this woman so she can always have this fucking alibi then stay with this person you know and a lot of you are going to be thinking, what the fuck? Or you people think that I'm, 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 I'm uh, you know, who you people think that I, I am? Have some fucking respect for me. Obviously, you don't have any respect. So you're holding on to this man. But I have respect for myself. No, you fucking assholes, move on. Move to the next bus stop. So a lot of you Capricorns are now putting, you Capricorns was like, no, something isn't right. So guess what? I'm going to be just... Uh, removing myself from this equation and whoever this person is just got up and move out um and you you were so fucking happy you were like the happiest person on two jiggly box foot okay because you recognize this person think that they could have played me and you are seen through the illusion of this person and i just tweeted a while ago people do not understand capricorns <laughs> capricorns We'll just sit down and take everything and just watch everything. But whenever Capricorn cup is full, Capricorn psychopath energy is going to come out. And this person is, yeah, the way you treat me and Capricorn think that motherfucker, do you know how long I hold this in that I want to tell you the fuck who you are? And Capricorns, you are, you guys are just like... I knew I can trust my intuition whenever I feel. And it's like you Capricorns, your spirit just go cross. And whenever he and this woman, and you see you Capricorn and find a text message when the bitch is going to be saying, oh, you know who texts me today, but I was at work. And, and you're thinking, fucking bitch, you should be happy that I text you and even talk to you. Who the fuck you think you are? <laughs> you know, and you fr from that you capricorn recognize i need to remove myself from this equation i'm no fucking third party i'm not going to be one of those people that is going to be sitting there waiting for you you capricorns was like a hey, name your little jing bang i'm that i'm moving on so this same person is going to be coming back asking for some sort of a commitment in october and you're going to be like no i really don't need any commitment you know, you Capricorns are looking at this person and it is an Aquarian person because someone is now going to be starting to question a whole lot of things. A lot of people are now going to be start questioning a whole lot of things because it's as if this person used this use this woman because Capricorns, you you Capricorns, if you Capricorns recognize that someone is not giving you their energy, you pull back your energy also and you're thinking, fuck you, because your loss, my gain. 
my gain of inner peace but whoever this person is is totally calling this person ladies and gentlemen if you needed one sperma to get a child and you get a child that means that there is no relationship between you and the man okay all you Capricorns agree with me okay so if a woman is going to be still running after you for 18 years that woman is open that one day all these people will leave so you can have a relationship with that person okay so don't let any man fool you that a, a friend is just a friend and a friend is there yes that friend is there because she's a fucking um low life bitch that accept your low life behavior and some people just don't take bullshit from people and capricorn women are always like that capricorn women are like i have enough of your bullshit move on okay so everybody is now going to be thinking shit yeah because every time it's always he's calling that person or everywhere he's there that person is there so everybody is now going to be recognizing that is the Aries Leo or Sagittarian person because this man was lying all the time because this man know that this person is always there for him no matter how he treats her he can always go back and pick her up when she wants because you have no ambition for yourself lady how the fuck you could think that you could be in a relationship with that man and, and, and that man in a relationship with a Capricorn person Capricorns you're like are these people fucking um, crazy or something you're looking and you know that was one of the reason why you Capricorn just pull yourself out of the in the, the, the John, and think hey move on not my type don't want to be involved with your little thing there and you're even looking and thinking but these people are fucking totally ridiculous. Are you fucking serious now? And, you know, a lot of people now started to recognize because whatever that was going on, this man and this woman is a fucking liar. The two, the two, these two people are liars, you know? And the, the reason is that you're looking at it and you're laughing and you're thinking, you know, in God's name, why would you think that I will go with you if you go with someone like that, you know? And you Capricorns are just like, let it go. So let's move and look in December. Mm -hmm. December, the energy of the devil. <laughs> it's your month, Capricorn. <laughs> and the devil is coming to help you fight your battles. <laughs> so let them say that this is the devil. So there was some sort of a negative situation that was going on where a government institution is going to be stepping in and ending it. Because this government institution is recognizing that whoever this man is, um, this man has been having multiple affairs, multiple connections with other people and has been playing other people and playing them out of their properties or whatever they have. Ace of Cup, love is coming in, but don't take this cup of love because when this person mask come off, okay, this person is wearing a mask. Someone is coming in December, do not. Capricorns, I advise you, do not take this person in your life. This person is wearing a mask. This person is a fucking monster, okay? You got to protect yourself from these people and their voodoos and their shit, okay? Well, the energy of the air fan. So there is twice a government institution that is going to be coming in. Um, there is a government institution. A lot of you Capricorns, so yes, the energy of the air fan, um, they always said the energy of the elephant is a Taurus. Someone could be investigating a Taurus. A government institution is investigating a Taurus. A Taurus that is in a relationship with an Aquarian man is under some sort of an investigation. They're going to be finding out that this Taurus is the village war. That this Taurus has uh, had a multiple relationship with uh, um, other people in this man's family. Yeah, the village war. So a Taurus is going to be investigating this man. This man is in some sort of a secret connection with a Taurus. A corporation institution is going to be recognizing this. They know who is this Taurus and this Taurus. Because this man is now very, very worried. Venus in Aquarius. So communication with this man. They're investigating this man and looking at details and communication with this man and a Taurus man. They're onto this man. They're investigating this man. Yeah. Yeah. And the energy of the devil, the eight of cups. Yeah. Saturn in Pisces. Um, there is a whole lot of money that you 
um, Capricorn should have received yes so you're going to be getting back because they're going to be recognizing that either your business either your business information or your house information was used and they're going to be recognizing that this Aries woman could have uh, created some sort of a document and uh, institution is going to be apologizing to you Capricorns um, a institution recognize what a, a businessman have done this can be a, um, a Taurus Virgo a Capricorn businessman um, whoever this businessman is um, they recognize that this man is a criminal this man was using your data and information and apology is going to be coming in from a huge corporation institution because they recognize what this man was doing is a is, is a Aries Leo or Sagittarius man and they now recognize what this man was doing so an apology is coming in yeah they recognize that this Venus in Aquarius that this Aquarius man is a liar and was looking for some sort of a new form of relationship with a Taurus person. Yes, they're going to be finding out because this is the energy of love. This man is having a secret affair with a Taurus person and was looking for, to have an affair with this person. A corporation institution is now investigating this man. And they're thinking that the reason is that this woman is about to divorce and come into a lot of money. And that is the reason why this Aquarian wants to be with this Taurus. Because this Taurus is about to divorce and get come in with a lot of money. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> fucking gigolo. <laughs> Anyway, Capricorns. <laughs> so they're recognizing that this man is in is looking new love. Mm -hmm. It's an Aquarian man also in the house of the Aquarian. Mm -hmm. A corporation is recognizing that this man is looking to be in a relationship with a Taurus because a Taurus is about to divorce and come in with a whole lot of money and they're shutting it down. This corporation is like, nope, we're shutting it down. We have recognized that within this year, there is three women that you are connected with only for money, the reason of money and um, the, this corporation is shutting it down. The King of Cups, yes, a Pisces person. They are going to be returning a whole lot of money to a Pisces person and you Capricorns because they recognize uh, um the energy of the devil they recognize that you and a pisces person was um did not get money that was supposed to be coming to you they're going to be recognizing what a gemini have done okay that a gemini had a, a creator way in order to get a whole lot of money and they're recognizing what a gemini has done a capricorn is uh, you capricorn are coming down on a gemini because you recognize what a gemini have done virgo the energy of the hermit so someone um a virgo could be coming back to apologize to you a virgo is going to be finding out something i see someone who is a virgo is really in love with you capricorns okay if it's a virgo person is okay you can go in a relationship with a virgo person but virgo spices um scorpions but yes a virgo person is going to come back and apologize to you a virgo person is going to be finding out the truth about um someone whoever this person is and whatever is going on and a lot of you you're going to be cutting and ending some sort of a connection with an aquarian person okay a virgo person is going to be apologizing to you because a virgo person is going to be finding out the truth of a situation that it's either a young Virgo child is going to be apologizing you, to you because a young Vir Virgo child is going to be recognizing you were not, um, you were not the person who has caused um, them a situation or, you know, this Virgo child could have think that you had something to do, but this Virgo child is going to be recognizing, no, 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 people tried to use you when they had another agenda. So someone is coming to apologize to you yeah so this aquarian is um having some sort of a new um love relationship the knight of pentacles yes this knight of pentacles <laughs> here in earth this knight of pentacles is an aquarian capricorn 
this Knight of Pentacles is born in the month of January. And this Knight of Pentacles, this Aquarian Capricorn, is now recognizing um, that uh, um, this person, this Aquarian person, um, is in love with a Taurus or is going um, in contact with a Taurus. And it's like this Taurus is this... Uh, this uh, Capricorn, this Capricorn young man is now recognizing um, that this uh, this Aquarian man had another lover. They're, they're finding out the truth. Everybody is recognizing. Everybody is like this man tried to lie and pull the wool over the, the, the eyes of everyone. And this Capricorn, you, you're born in January. You're, you're a Capricorn, a young man. You were born in January. You're younger than this Aquarian person, but now you're recognizing that this Aquarian person is a liar. Okay, because you're going to be a, a recognizing that this Aquarian person is someone who have will have sex with their best friend's um, partner. Okay, this Aquarian man is has no boundaries. Um, they will go with also your... Um, they will they will they will go with uh, with 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 anybody partner okay anybody partner and whatever is going on um because there's a virgo there is something surrounding a virgo but i see this virgo is apologizing to you capricorns because this virgo is recognizing that hey that that woman didn't do anything or that man didn't do anything so whoever this Aquarian man is, because this is Venus in Aquarian, this person was coming back trying to get you um, to, you know, have some sort of a commitment. No, don't do it. This man is wearing a mask. This man is an asshole, a big asshole. Yeah. And this man is wearing a, a mask, Capricorns. No, do not have anything to do with this man. Um, this man is coming back with some sort of a commitment. No, it's a no. It is a no because they now recognize that this man is having a love affair. This love affair is with a Taurus. He had a sword. Um, yes, this, this man could have been having a love affair with a Taurus. But the Taurus is the village whore. And everybody is going to be recognizing that uh, this man could have been having a secret affair with this Taurus for a long time. Because there was a text message that showed up. That it's, it's as if uh, they went to a hotel together. And uh, the next morning, the person was saying, oh, do the gruetens on uh, my could not be his wife. Because, uh, yeah, it was a weird thing. You know, when uh, you have an affair and you're like, yeah, do the gruetens on so, so, so. Uh, yeah, I had you could slap off so. This man will secretly have um, relationships with uh, his best friends or... Um, his friends uh, that is in relationship, you know, the, the, this man is, is, is really disturbed. It's a disturbed person. It's, it's a really disturbed person, ladies and gentlemen. And it is an Aquarian person because Venus is in Aquarius. So it's an Aquarius person. But the police is onto this Aquarius person. Um, there is some sort of an investigation, but it, it's like a, a Taurus person is about to get divorced. And it's about to come in a whole lot of money. And all of a sudden, he's in love with this Taurus person. And they're going to be finding out who is this Taurus person. Because this Taurus person apparently was having an affair with him for a very long time. Because you Capricorn went to a party and this person lived like a couple millions um, far away. And all of a sudden, this person was at a party close to where you live. And you're like, why is this person here? Because um, this person... Is connected to the family with a friend and the friend and this guy is not together so why is this person here and there you know it's a situation because this man get very upset the man got very upset and that is it ladies and gentlemen whenever a man get upset you found out his fuckeries that he's doing okay cut this Aquarian person off cut him cut this person off Capricorns Okay, no commitment with this person. Do not, no matter what this person have to give to you, no. Okay, you and a career is just to go together. Even if they come in as a divine masculine or divine frau, um, it is a karma. They are karma. 
okay you're not supposed to be with this person so don't do it don't do it this person is wearing a mask and is a monster it is really a monster and I think that some of you Capricorn person have recognized what a monster um, that person is because it's as if um, this person whenever they're out this person show like you know I'm always happy I'm always this I'm always but to live with this person this person is a freaking monster don't do it and their mask is going to be coming off in December so um, if you do it you will get out of it because in November you're going to be recognizing Jesus Christ so if you're moving in with this person or, or starting over with this person you're going to be thinking Jesus Christ no no ladies and gentlemen um, once you recognize that your mental state is being affected by someone you need to cut that person direct off choose your peace over someone who is messing with your mental state because when you get fucked up mentally they are going to be moving on with someone and this is why I say people need to check their children before they let out their children on this fucking world and recognize that your children are mentally disturbed okay your children are mentally disturbed okay and Capricorn you need to be aware because something is going to be coming out where they're going to be recognizing anytime someone tell you or someone can not take no do not have a relationship with that person do not okay because they are going to be doing you things okay because you Capricorns are going to be recognizing that someone did you something that was uh, um, uh, uh, you said no to someone and someone um, did you something and you have evidence of what this person have done and it's something that you can send this person to face their karmas okay and this person is going to face their karmas because it's going to be happening to them in the month of December someone somehow the universe is going to be fucking up this person because something that this person do and think that you Capricorns was not aware of it someone is going to be doing this person the same thing All right, there's another message. You Capricorn men that was born in January, you are going to be finding out something about an Aquarian man. And it's that this person is bisexual. And how you're going to be finding this out is that this person is going to take home someone to their home a man this person is also a man and that man I it, it, there is something that you see this person have created so much chaos and someone that knows that this person was having an affair or was having sex with their partner is going to be creating something this man is going to be going either to another man house to a hotel or to this man house it's going to be happening between October and December begin January and someone is going to set up this man but they're going to be they're going to be raping this man just because of what this man has done so so a man found out that this man was was having sexual relationship with his girlfriend or his partner and I see a group of people is gonna set up this man a group of people is going to make sure that somebody raped this man and I think this group of people is like oh, they're recognizing how this man was sleeping with all of their girlfriends and their friends and someone is going to really set up this man and he's going to be raped and it is something that he has done 
um, to someone else. He gave someone else a drug, yeah, a rape drug. And ladies and gentlemen, because, you know, ladies and gentlemen, I have investigated so much things. There is a drug, it's called a rape drug, that someone can give to you and you cannot remember anything. And they can just do just about anything to you. Okay? So, ladies, especially, because this is just so um, rampant. And there's someone out there. Do not drink anything from people, ladies and gentlemen. Even if you have drink in your house and there are other people in your house, there's a party. And you go to someone's house to a party. You go to the bar room and leave your wine or leave whatever. Don't drink it. Ask for a new bottle. Ask for a new sit and watch someone throw it out. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you a story that has... It is not a story. It's something that happens to a young lady. This young lady, I know a friend, the friend come over or I could have been living with this young lady and uh, um, they were sitting down having, you know, a drink and talking and what, 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 uh, and uh, someone slick this lady a rape drug and how this lady recognized is that this lady was, I've never passed out that has never happened to me something is not right and this lady started investigating and she went and she um started to investigate and wanted to know what was in her blood and apparently this man gave this woman um this drug and had anal sex with her raped the lady when the lady um, and, and this happened, this, this happened to someone who is very close to me. So ladies and gentlemen, it is a sad situation, but there are people who are very hateful. It's not everyone who you sit on table with. You should um, be happy and talking to these people. These people are very hateful. And if there is someone that you say no to that person, is going to always wants to get back at you. But it's like the same, like whatever had happened to this lady, they're going to be setting up someone to rape this man. You know, it's, it's a scenario, so it says that. But it is more that a lot of people recognize that this person was an asshole and was sleeping around with their girlfriends or their girlfriend friends or you know people in close proximity and they're going to be fine enough but it's like you and that is it it's not going to be happening to you capricorn young men it is going to be happening to an aquarian person that you know but you're going to be finding out about it and think yeah you was an asshole anyway um because i think you recognize that yeah this person was not kosher, you know, but you're going to be finding out about it. Somehow you're going to be finding out about it and you're going to be recognizing that this person have done it to other people before. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, if even you're a fucking freak, you're not going to be asking for a drug, a, a rape drug. Okay. All right. No matter how fucking freaky you are, you're not going to, only if you or someone that don't really care if someone is on drugs and really don't really care but a normal person no matter how a normal person is they're never ever going to be asking for a rape drug and for someone to slip a rape a, a, a rape drug to another person and is going to um, mishandle that person because apparently this drug ladies and gentlemen is that you don't remember anything you don't know what happened you don't know what happened, but you are, they said that you're there, you are normal, you're talking and everything, but you don't remember what happened. Ladies and gentlemen, there are horrible people into this world. There are sick fucking people into this world, but this person is going to get back what they have done to someone. And you Capricorn young men between the ages of 25 and 45 is going to know that so, this person got rape and whoever this person that set up this person 
it's like a, a group of people are going to find out what this person that this person was sleeping around with their own girlfriend and their own people. They it's something that is going to be coming out, and you Capricorn person is going to be finding out about this. Okay, because whoever the person is that is going to be doing it to them is going to be telling someone leak it but to someone and someone is going to know exactly and i see a lot of people are sitting back and think yeah you deserve it a lot of people are going to be thinking no you you really deserve this you have done a lot of people a lot of pain and a lot of hurt so yeah <laughs> but you see this person um this person is bisexual this person is bisexual this person you know go around with a lot of women and and do but i think that this person used drugs to have sex with women but i think um having sex with men they don't need to use drugs because they're bisexual okay this person have a hate towards women and it have to do with if your mother abused you as a child you you have that uh, trauma in your soul and you you hate women you will do things about um do bad things to women you check it out. Men that was misused by their mother, by um, sexually misused or uh, they were beat because people think that punishment is a, a beating a child. No, no, no. That's what create trauma in children. And this person was either sexually abused, was abused by being beaten or that sort of a thing. And they hold this trauma in their lives. And whatever this trauma is, they hate women. They don't really like women. And that is a reason. And, you know, a lot of people should watch Instagram. Sometimes some tweet come out and a lot of men said, yeah, men don't like women. They just like women because they want to show up. But on the down low, a lot of men are on the down lows, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. But by you giving someone a rape drug, and he's going to be doing something to that person that that person is not open for. Then you're just a fucking racist and you're a fucking mentally disturbed person. Okay, so ladies, it's Christmas. Be careful, especially you ladies that is, um, you live alone or that sort of a thing. Be careful who you invite to your house. Okay, because um, these people are sick because... You see, these people do these things to other people and get away. And one thing, you should not fuck with a Capricorn and think you're going to get away. Capricorn is ruled by Saturn, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? And a Capricorn is going to be investigating what happens to them. And a Capricorn is going to go and find out what happened to them. Okay? So, you know, this is a situation where, yeah, you young Capricorn men, especially you are born um, in... Uh, December, December, January, this um, January, especially Capricorn men that was born January. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever this friend is, is going to be raped. Someone is going to be doing it. And I think it's just a group of people just recognize how fucked up that person is. And they're going to be setting up and let someone really, and it, it could be a situation that is going to be, um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So you Capricorn men, and I think that you Capricorn men is also recognizing that this person, you're going to be finding out that this person had an affair or this person was seeing someone else or was in love. And I think also you Capricorn, per, you Capricorn man, this, this man could have also slept with someone you are seeing. And I think that that is even one of the things that you're going to be thinking, good, this person deserves what they get. It's going to be happening within this three quarter. All right. I do love you guys. Catacorn. Namaste.